Okay, welcome back everybody. Here's another question, this time on macroeconomics. Uh, and it's one that focuses on different types of income tax system. So let's take a look at it. A tax system allows people to earn a certain amount of money free of income tax. And on income above this level, tax is levied, imposed at a constant rate. Now, which of these four diagrams correctly shows how marginal and average rates of tax vary with income? Here's your chance to take a moment to have a go at the question. So press that pause button on the YouTube video. When you're ready, we'll come back together and think about the correct answer together. OK, so what did you get for this question? Uh, crucially, the, the key bits of information are that you can earn a certain amount of money income free, income tax free. So there will be a zero percentage rate on that income. Thereafter, any extra income you earn is taxed at a constant, constant rate. The correct answer to this question is, it's B. So let's take a look at why that's the case. Again, first point, you can earn a certain sum of income free of income tax. So for that first little bit of income on the x-axis from zero through to the, to the intersection point, that is tax free. Of course, on the y-axis, we're measuring the rate of tax. Thereafter, tax is levied at a constant rate. So this, the key idea here is the marginal rate of tax. The marginal rate of tax is simply explained as the tax you pay on each extra one pound or one dollar of income. That rate is constant. We could give it a number. We'll do that in a second. So, for example, let's assume that the marginal rate of tax was 20%. The marginal will stay exactly the same. But look at what's happening to the average. The average is starting at zero once you start to pay tax. And the average rate starts to climb and is getting closer to marginal, but won't actually quite touch it. The average rate of tax is tax paid divided by gross income. And it converges on the marginal tax rate, but it won't reach it because of the tax free allowance we mentioned at the start. So this is an interesting question, which asks you to think about tax allowances and the difference between the marginal and the average rate of tax. Uh, B, by the way, is the right answer. It, it gives us an idea of a progressive income tax rate as the average rate of tax goes up with income. OK, I hope you got the right.